Hello guys. Welcome to Day 5, Overview of Reflection. In this section, we will learn about what is reflection, delegates and events. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with what is reflection. In this video, we're going to take a look at more complex scenarios where we can use reflection and discuss system.type and system.reflection in more detail. In simple terms, reflection is a way to get inside of a program, gathering the object information of a program and invoking these at runtime. So, with the help of reflection, we can analyze and assess our code by writing code in C Sharp. To understand reflection in detail, let's take the example of the class Odd Even. Now, we create a class named Odd Even. We make a class public so that it can be accessed through the code. Let's add the code from our code bundle. After going through the code, we can say this code has a few public methods and private methods. Public methods utilize private methods for various functional demands and perform tasks to solve a real-world problems where we need to identify the odd or even numbers. In the public class odd and even, we made a public string of print odd even. Again, we declare a string of single odd and even. Using this highlighted code, we will check the results. Using this highlighted code, we can set the Boolean for even number or odd number. Now, we will move to our main method. Here, we're taking the variable from the user and comparing it with our odd and even method. We call the method print single odd even to check whether an entered number is odd or even. Let's run our code. Now, we will enter a number. It will show you whether it is odd or even. We've already stated that reflection is a way to analyze our code. Now, we will use reflection in the same odd and even class we used. Now, let's add code here from the code bundle. We will take the number from the user. Here, we're getting method info with the use of system.reflection and thereafter invoking the method by passing the required parameters. Instead of activator.createInstance, we can also use assembly.createInstance. Assembly.createInstance looks into the type of the assembly and creates the instance using activator.createInstance. Let's run the code. Here, we will enter the number. So yes, we get the output. We now move to reflection in use. There is a system.type class available which provides us with the complete information about our object type. We can use type of to get all the information about our class. Let's add code from the code bundle. We declare a variable of program here. We use type of to gather the information on our class program. The type of operator represents a type declaration here. In our case, it is a type declaration of class program. Finally, using these lines of code, we will print the assembly name. Let's run the code. As you can see here, we get the information. Now, we will see a getType method similar to typeOf method. Let's add the code from the code bundle. On the same node, we have the getType method of the system.type class, which gets the type and provides the information. Using these lines of code, we will display the results. Now, we run the code. We gather all information on class program with the use of getType method. Now, let's see table, which represents all details on important extension method. First method is getConstructor that performs over the provided type and returns output of type system.reflection. Next method is constructor info that returns all constructor information for provided type and array outputs of system.reflection. Then is the member info method that gets the access for provided attribute, for member, for given type, and for outputs of array system.reflection. After that is event info method that provides the access to event metadata outputs of system.reflection. Member info methods gets the member info of the specified type by using member name, and this method outputs an array of system.reflection. The last method is property info that provides all properties for the specified type 
and outputs as an array of system dot reflection. In this video, we've looked at what is reflection.